guys, it's Sam! And I'm gonna do a makeup challenge. I don't think I've ever done one. I'm not really good at makeup, by the way, but this one seemed interesting to me, so I'm gonna do it. So, it's called Google Does My Makeup. You're supposed to type in your initials, and then after you type in your initials, you put look. And then you just do whatever comes up. So, I could cheat. Uh, fun fact, my initials spell sass. Like, perfectly. So I could get some nice looks, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to keep it to first and last name to be fair. So my initials are SS, and to be completely honest, when I looked it up, I thought I was gonna see boats. Uh, so I have this picture, I'm actually going to post it. And I'm not gonna lie, um, this isn't the first picture that came up. The only reason I chose it, I chose it because it was the only one that had like really bright colors, and I'm always wearing darker colors, so if I picked like anywhere between like the first four pictures, I was gonna look like I always did. So I wanted to pick something that was a little different, you know? I'm gonna grab stuff. This is like my full makeup bag, but I literally use this maybe once a month. This is my real makeup bag. This is like the daily one. And even then, I only use like three things in here. I'm gonna use this face mist because it feels nice. When I did this in front of Zach, he literally asked me if I was a plant. So I need blue, white, and orange. White I definitely have. Oh no, I don't think I have orange. I'm gonna replace, I think I have to replace the orange with like a pink, cause I have like a bright pink. So the first thing I normally do on the face, I have green primer from e.l.f. cause I don't wanna spend lots of money. <laughs> e.l.f. is great though, like my face feels soft. I have eye primer from e.l.f. I'm not, sorry I'm not waiting for things to. So you're supposed to just like put it on like your whole eye area? Feeling fancy. Should I zoom in? Yeah, that's better. You don't have to see like all the background. Okay. Am I blending this right? Is this how you do this? I know it may seem like I'm acting stupid on purpose, but I seriously, I don't know. But I just kind of do what works. I, I don't put makeup on super often. My minus eyeliner. Mm. I have this thing for dark circles under my eyes from Garnier, and it's called Skin Active. And you just put it there. And because it's concealer, I kind of also put it on my cheeks because they get really pink. I got like this really pink cheek. And that's kind of where I stop. Sometimes I use foundation, which is also from Garnier. It's BB, BB Garnier. But I don't do it often just because I'm not really very good at it. So I don't do it. There we go. Not saying that I can't get good at it if I practice. I just haven't put the time in. So if you're not good with makeup, don't let that stop you. I don't mind it stopping me just because I'm actually pretty happy with what I'm doing, but if you want to learn makeup, go for it. I recommend like Google, YouTube videos, asking professionals. I just, once again, I just personally didn't put the time into it, but it doesn't mean it's impossible. Does that even look different on camera? This thing's cool. I used to call it makeup egg, but it's actually really awesome. I just never owned one for like the longest time. And then finally one day it was on sale. So I was like, sure, why not? Oh, I have two. Oh no, this is, this is an eyeshadow applicator. This is a blender brush. Uh, looks like her eyebrows are also filled in. I'm realizing the beginning of this challenge is kind of very standard. I haven't done anything that I normally wouldn't do yet, which is also why I cheated and picked a picture that I wanted to do. Because a lot of the makeup looks right before it were very, very what I would normally do, at least on my Google. I know sometimes it turns up different, maybe like the area or something you have it, which is pretty cool actually, I like that, but anyway. So I wanted to just pick someone with kind of a slightly different... So I'm not even gonna lie, I don't think I remember what pencil this is because it's sharpened all the way down. So I think it's uh... No, Clean and Clear is not a brand. I mean it's a brand. But it's... Well is it a makeup brand? Unfortunately I don't have blue or red. This is... But I do have like a silver and a pink. Uh, this is the In the Night palette from Marshalls. Let me tell you something about Marshalls. If you can get stuff from there, do it. So I think I'm gonna use this pink to substitute for the red. Cause this, I know on camera this actually looks really good, but it's actually really copper brown and it's not gonna work for this. And then there's like this kind of bluish silver. So I think I'm gonna use that. I'll use the pink and the bluish silver, which looks way bluer on camera. So now I look stupid, but trust me in person, it's a little more silvery. Just gonna bring it up. Wow, this is fun. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I don't know if this shows up on camera, but it looks kind of like a like a nebular type thing. I should probably add, I'm going to a family party right after this, so I'm gonna have to take all this off 
and then put on my normal, like, normal outing makeup. I don't want to, like, imply that this isn't normal. Like, if you like li this look or something like it, like, if you like to wear lots of eyeshadow, you like to wear lots of colors, as long as you're not hurting yourself or others, go ahead. But when I say normal, I'm just strictly referring to what I personally normally do. I didn't blend it yet, but I'm having fun, okay? <laughs> I don't normally do makeup like this. This is awesome. Okay, so let me make sure. Okay, and now I'm going to take some of the white. Put kind of in the middle for like the, oh, oh, it's coming together. Oh my goodness. Kind of like highlighted a little bit under the eyebrows, which I normally do first. Oh, she also put a little bit in the inner corners right here. Oh, and then there's some red on the bottom I just noticed. I'm gonna blend a little bit. Cause I don't wanna I don't wanna like get rid of it. Sometimes when I blend too much it just goes away. I feel like I have like cotton candy on my eyes. I have setting spray that I'm gonna I forgot to put on, so hold on. Uh now eyeliner. So this part this part I just kinda do. I don't really have an explanation for it. I mean, I do. I made a video on it just because it's one of those things you just have to show, okay? Okay. Mascara. This, what is this? Get Big Lashes uh, by Essence, which I bought from Ulta. Oh, I really like this! Ah! Do you ever just, like, do makeup? Never. But then when you do, you're like, wow. <laughs> I have a cotton candy face. Thank you, SS Look. I tried to do contour once, but I looked kind of like a tiger because I, I like didn't blend the stripes well enough. <laughs> Did you want to know that? Is that relevant? I'm going to change my battery. Hold on. Oh my goodness. So I don't really have clips that look like that, but since there's pink in my eye, I have an idea of a cute hair accessory. Realizing it said nothing about hair, but the challenge is not Google does my hair. So here's my look. Uh, based on SS look that I'm gonna put right here. <laughs> Is it like glamour time? That was fun! Oh, focus. That was fun! Oh, that has been Google Does My Makeup. Thanks for joining me on this cotton candy adventure. My name is Sam, and I will see you next time. Bye!